Hey everybody! Apologies for the silence there as I looked in on my prison, but uh, welcome back to Northern Land Place Prison Architect. Uh, on the last episode, we built the foundation to basically start expanding our prison in a big way. Uh, also, thank you to everyone who told me that the shop needs... Uh, when it says adjacent to room, colon, what that actually means is that you need to... Uh, not a shop shelf, sorry. A shop front has to go in the wall between itself and another room. Which makes sense. I'm not going to dispute that, but I do think it could also be uh, conveyed perhaps a little bit more uh, more simply than that. But you know what? That's uh, water under the bridge now. Um, we're going to get our shop going here before we start working, or sorry, start worrying about... Uh, and a shelf. Yeah, I think it should go like that. And we'll put a chair in here just in case, like, uh, somebody needs to sit at the shop front. Um, before we start to actually, you know, completely fill in our, uh, our cell block here. Oh, good. Just a small riot to start the day with. No deaths, which I'm excited about. I'm kind of at the point where I'm like, you know what? Our prison is functional. There's some slight dysfunction. Great CCTV right there, by the way. There's some slight dysfunction in the form of, you know, the occasional murder and stuff like that. Let's uh, go to a logistics here and make this, sorry, deployment every time. Make this area unlocked, just so that workers can get in and out easily. Um, but, uh, hey, we have a functional shop now. I don't know if we need to make someone actually work in it. Maximum jobs, five. Boom, there you go. Five people working in that. Can they get in and out without going through a metal detector? Yes. So let's, um... Let's stop that right away. I keep getting distracted already. I was watching, well, not really, but uh, Kate was watching Michael L. Fox play a little prison architect. I gotta admit, that guy's got an incredible sense of urban design and logistics. He he manages to just make it work, you know? But it, the thing that I don't like about his prison is that it's not based in reality. Like, oh, we should definitely get some utilities going here. Um, Michael L. Fox's prison is like a social experiment. It's like if... If Mussolini opened his own prison or something like that, he's got like individual cell blocks, uh, like like a self-contained building of like eight cell cells, um, and then it has like its own little tiny yard and like a shared bathroom and stuff like that. Which I, I feel like that's exploiting game mechanics to not necessarily live in the real world. My prison is based in the real world. You know, it has problems, but it's a uh, it's a compromise between what we what we ideally want to do and what, you know, we actually functionally can do with the resources that are allotted to us. Which is not to say that his prison is, is worse. His prison is actually substantially better, which is why I'm defensive about it. Um, but, uh, I, uh, you know, what a, what a, what a guy. What a guy is how I'm going to finish that thought. Um, we're going to just hook up our new CCTV to a monitor. Yes, I'm aware that we have too many CCTV cameras hooked up to each monitor. Again, you know, maybe you live in a world where every school has enough teachers. You know, every, every classroom is only, uh, you know, 10 students and your teacher is Stephen Hawking and he gives you one-on-one, -on -one, you know, individual uh, classroom learning time. But that's not the real world that we live in as, as people here. We don't live in that world. Um, I wish we did. I wish we did, but we don't. Uh, where did, did I delete all of my planning? I must have deleted all of my planning. I'm not happy about this. I'm also not happy about the, the piping situation, but it, it, life's about compromises, man. Life's about compromises. Although, now that I think about it, we could probably destroy this and be pretty okay with it. So, let's dismantle our utility. And hope... There's not too much power there, but I think there is. Oh, I didn't mean to destroy that one. It's gonna take a little while. And again, remember, like, uh... It is taking a while for us to actually build out our cell here, but, uh... Or build out our new cell block, I should say, but... It's gonna be worth it one day, is, is the thinking, at least. So I just want to get our planning set up again. One, two... Two wide. Three long. Which means, actually, we want it to look like this. Okay, and then we can just build one cell and clone it out. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. We want a pathway like here. We don't need to necessarily plan out the entirety of the cell. The cell block, I should say. And then we'll do one like this. And like that. Okay. So these are going to be like our, our feeler cells, if that makes sense. Is this right? Two by three, two by three. Yeah, that, that looks right to me. Um, are the utilities dismantled? Yes. Is there still going to be enough water getting to our cells? I don't know, <laughs> to be honest with you. 
We'll see, I suppose. Okay, let's let's start building this out. We definitely want to have our toilets on the back wall. Because that is where we have placed our... Um, uh, our... What am I trying to say here? That is where we placed our, our piping already. So we're just going to set up one cell. The doors should be automatically unlocked because they're contained within this unlocked area. And as the workmen come and do this... We should be able to just duplicate this cell very, very easily. In fact, why don't we just already copy that cell and we want to put the toilet like uh yeah the toilet is going to work there so we'll go objects toilet we want the toilets to have a semblance of privacy not right in the open from the door you have to at least look in at an angle and i'm putting a tv in every single room because i want to be nice you know i want to i want to be a good guy i want to i want our prisoners not to riot and nobody's rioting if uh, two and a half men is on, they're gonna ride if two and a half men is off. Otherwise, how, like with the comic stylings of one Ashton Kutcher and also dude who is not Ashton Kutcher on the show, how could you be mad when you're so you're too busy laughing to murder a snitch? Snitches get stitches. More like snitches find themselves in stitches, laughing at the comic stylings of 2.5 men on CBS every Wednesday. Probably that show has been canceled for like two years, and I'm. Uh, I'm dating myself a little bit, but that's okay. Huh, <laughs> NL, two and a half men is from when I was like... 14. I'm 16 now. It's been an eon since that. Okay, well, you know, once once you get on the other side of adulthood and those those milestones stop coming so quickly... Um, oh good, I've made my... I've made my cell block too small. Um, you know, it, it becomes harder to actually uh, track time. I'm 26. You know, I, nothing nothing much in my life has changed since I was 24, since I was 22, etc, etc. And this is pretty much how it's going to be until I die. And I've just accepted that. I'm not sad about it, you know. it's That's that's just life, man. Speaking of just living out your days until you die, here comes our prison. Uh, our cells are looking mighty fine, if I might say so myself. We're going to expand uh, quite nicely. I wonder, I'm assuming it's during work that uh, these prisoners will actually load these milk crates onto some carts. We really need to make our security room bigger. It's causing us some some problems. So what are we looking for? We're I guess we're trying to get to 200 prisoners. We're not going to do that with this cell block, but that's okay. You know what? I think we should blow out this wall here. Like this, basically. And we're going to blow out this wall specifically just to... Uh, th is this not meant to be unlocked at all times? Every time. Unlocked. Unlock this door. I guess I could set that door to just be uh, locked open for now. Um, but yeah, by, by blowing out this wall... Oh, I really need to put down a shower drain. That was a, a very stupid decision on my part. Throw down some shower drains there. It's going to look a little hideous, but it's also going to make our prison much, much more functional. You know, it's like installing another off-ramp or something like that. We can also uh, maybe put a jail door here and make our yard more accessible to our new cell block. But we'll worry about that once we actually get to it. Again, should this area not simply be unlocked? Oh, I don't want the whole prison to be unlocked. But because this door is locked open, there's like no compromise for me. Okay, well, you know what? Sure. We'll, we'll keep all the doors unlocked, I guess. For now. So let's use our clone tool again. And this one is these ones. Okay, so we want to do it like this. In theory, this should work. We got top wall, no bottom wall. Top... Oh! I, I can't believe I've done this. Um, I misclicked. I really wish there was... Maybe there is, and I just don't know. Like a control Z function. Um... Because I've fucked up, like, way too many cells now. Maybe we can just right-click and drag, and that'll be fine. Now, what are you building here? Stop building it. I hope I haven't mucked it up too... Oh, my God! I did it again! No, don't... Okay, then it's a freaking... Now I've cloned it. Oh, good. Now you've cloned it. I can't believe you've cloned this. you got to go to materials, and then you right-click everything. Okay, go back to your clone tool. No bottom wall. We don't need the side wall either. Oh, now this one's one too big. Good. Way to go, way to go you smart dude. 
There we go. I've actually clicked properly. I know. I didn't think it would be possible either. But we've done it now. So we got the uh, back wall. No bottom wall. So it's going to be one, two. This one's really the moment of truth. We can clone individual cells later. No back wall necessary on this one. For now, I just want to get the, the foundation in here so our workmen can actually get started. Then we'll go clone. That's not cloning. Clone this one. Put it right here. Clone this one. Put it right here. Functionally, this should work. What's wrong with this one? Is not enclosed. Oh, that's this one is the only one that has an actual cell attached to it as of right now. That's fine. We can click and drag the cells later. Please be functional. They're functional. Okay. Please be functional. They're functional. Please be functional there. Why are you not functional? You're not surrounded. What are you talking about? You're not surrounded. Oh, I didn't put freaking jail doors on them. It's like amateur hour here. Insufficient funds. Oh no, we have a large problem on our hands, don't we? Um, okay, well, there's no question. We have to take in new prisoners tomorrow, specifically so we can get some money. We can take in 12. We're gonna be running a small deficit. That's okay. Hey man, you gotta spend money to make money. You ever hear about that phrase? There's a little something called Northern Lyonian uh, Dynamics. It's the foundation for all modern economics. I wonder, there, is, there are loans you can take out. I don't remember how. I thought it was in grants. Okay, yeah, we could take out a could take out a grant loan. What about tool cleanup? Have we done that? Short-term investment? Probably not a good idea right now. There, I, I took cell block D. Immediately after taking it, we are further in debt as a result of buying all the stuff that we need to expand our prison. Um, not the shrewdest idea. In my uh, in my history as a as a, a prison architect, I'll admit I love these workmen waiting for the doors to open, even though there's not even enough walls. But hey, who am I to judge? Uh, hopefully, there's enough bricks to make this happen. Otherwise, we're gonna find ourselves running a little bit of a deficit. We do make 150 bucks an hour. That's not really that much money. When each cell costs us like $800 to build. Um, did we just find... Please tell me you didn't have a noose. I think he had something in his possession that I'm not too fond of. I don't, as far as, like, financially, obviously our prison is beset on all sides by woe. But, um, from a, an actual just logistic standpoint, I actually find that it's running pretty well. Good, we got another riot in here. It's a pretty large riot, I'm not gonna dispute that. There have been no deaths though, so we don't lose any financial uh, penalty for that. All of a sudden, Michael A.L. Fox's weird social experiment prison doesn't seem that bad. Okay. We got more, we, you know what, we could actually take in 30 prisoners tomorrow, and we need the money. This will be probably the most prisoners I've ever taken in in a single day in Prison Architect. We barely have enough guards to even process them, probably, but we're going to give it a shot. Like, if you're living in this cell block, man, it's, like, nice down here. The canteen is, is pandemonium every single day. What if, can we, uh, put another armed guard in the canteen? There actually is, there are enough armed guards to put another one in the canteen. You could probably... Oh, what did I do there? We could probably take one out of the cell block. Maybe put like two in the shower, two in the canteen. You want the prisoners to be compliant, basically. 95 prisoners are suppressed, aka compliant. That's a ton. That's really great for us, actually. Um, look, why are you peeing on the floor when I put a toilet in there for this expressed purpose? So disrespectful. Only six hours until we get a nice... Hot cash injection right into our bank account. Oh, Northern Line, you're so greedy. I'm using it to buy jail doors, okay? I'm not a monster. I still don't know, has anybody actually gone into our education program yet? One person passed workshop safety. Two people passed kitchen safety. Um, 
We're doing pretty well on pr parole hearings, at least. Pharmacological treatment of drug addiction? I thought we already started this one. Five in Q? That's fine. I thought we started behavioral therapy as well. Like, we have the rooms for it, don't we? All rooms, staff only. Oh, uh, maybe we didn't start behavioral therapy because it's not in a common room. It's in an office. Oh, you know what? That was in the episode that was lost to the sands of time. How's our uh, foundation education program? Zero interested. Is that because, like, let me know, Prison Architect uh, Illuminati, or, uh, you know, fantastic players out there. Probably not the right word to use there, but, um, is this, uh, because they're suppressed? Like, suppressed people are not motivated to, to go be educated, I guess, in, in Prison Architect, at least? You know, from my perspective, it's like, if you're in prison, and you're not gonna stab somebody, why not get an education out of it at the same time? It just gives you something to do. But I understand the prison architect, and, and you know, indeed, the real world, uh, doesn't necessarily work like that. You know, there's things, there's, there's uh, situations that preclude that. We can take in 30, 31 prisoners now. We need all the money we can get, so we might as well. Um, so I don't want, you know, I don't want to be needlessly reductive, I guess is what I'm trying to say, but... Uh, it, from a game mechanic standpoint, is that how that works? Now, we're going to take it in 30 new prisoners. 31. I'm not going to read all their bios. We did just get $14,000 in prisoner intake, which is a ton, obviously. And we'll go back to our um, situation here. And now we should be able to buy enough jail doors. And in actuality, buying these jail doors is going to be money well spent. Uh, very well spent. Because it should lead... To uh, us being able to have a capacity of another, well, I guess it's probably like 10 or 9. So that's going to give us another 18 capacity, which is going to be another 7 grand, like right in the bank. The only question will be whether or not our prison can actually handle um, the newfound uh, the newfound traffic. You know what? I bet we can fit another se a series of cell blocks in here. But we'll probably have to wait until the next time um, we let in new prisoners. We definitely don't want to take in 32 new prisoners tomorrow, so... Um, we'll, we'll wait until the doors get installed, and then we'll see how many we can take in. Looks like we're going to be able to take in 20, which is actually really, really good. 9,200. If you combine that, plus the money we make in the meantime, probably that will be enough for us to make another cell block. and Or not, not like another cell block of this size, but at least like fill in this one over here. Um, but, you know, we, we spend money every day, we make money every day. That's that's the cost of doing business here. Hopefully we don't have any riots today. That's something we've, we've had to work on, admittedly. Um, it also, admittedly, we are going to have to... Let, let's shut down this area from a deployment standpoint. It should no longer be um, unlocked. This should be normal now. But uh, we're going to need to put some more guards in here as a result. I thought I sniffed out a tunnel there for a second. Oh, this is all of our prisoners going to the shop. It's semi-functional. It's semi-functional. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. That feels good. You know, maybe these prisoners can now buy stuff that takes care of their own needs. Not fully, obviously. They make like 10 cents a day. Which is not meant as a joke. It's actually like the realness of the situation. But on the bright side, you know, it might... It, allowing the prisoners to handle some of their own needs means that I don't have to solve things en masse. Instead, they can do it themselves. Uh, I need more hygiene. It's just annoying to find that these prisoners need more hygiene. There's an enormous shower block. Maybe nobody wants to go in there because they're, you know, there's a pretty good chance of getting stabbed. I mean, that is where mostly it's happened here. Um, and, you know, I don't feel good about that. But at the same time, if you're going to be pissed off about not being clean, then, you know, do your, do your best to get clean. It's like that hive song. I'm gonna get clean, I'm gonna get clean. You know the one. Doesn't go like that. If you truly know it, you would know that. So we can build out one little part of the cell block here. It is gonna cost almost all of our income. Well, almost all of our, our treasury, I should say. But my philosophy is why not get this done ASAP? That way, um, you know, we can take in those prisoners tomorrow and, and get the cash money right off the bat. Another, uh, another riot. There's just been some tasing done. It's always the showers and the canteen, man. When you're at your most vulnerable. You're at your most vulnerable when you're eating and when you're naked. It doesn't matter what you're doing when you're naked. You're always vulnerable. You know, it's a lot harder to focus on your Taekwondo training when somebody can get a hold of your Jimmy. 
Uh, okay, I thought we had, uh... I thought we had a crash there, but it was actually just an autosave, I think. Which is, uh, all things considered, a much better outcome, I would say. This cell should be done now. Beautiful. Now we can take in 24 prisoners. That's gonna be another big payday. Now, really, it'll take, um... It'll take a little while for problems with our prison to manifest, if there are problems with our prison. So, uh, I'm admittedly a little scared about that. At this point, I'm like, why, why don't we just dismantle these jail doors? How has this never occurred to me before? I mean, we had these jail doors here specifically to keep prisoners from being able to just wander wherever they wanted. Sweet, another fight right here. <laughs> I wonder if that's something to do with the yard, just being like, uh, like it's such a, a crapshoot to get into the yard because there's still only that one door. But like now, I'm like, why, why even uh, have these jail doors? We could just uh, get rid of these jail doors and maybe that'll facilitate a little faster movement throughout our prison. I mean, this, for all intents and purposes, this might as well be one cell block. I think, at least. Uh, we do have to look at our deployment now and look at how our guards are set up. We should probably have, like, a guard here, and a guard here, and a guard here. Maybe one extra guard in our in our showers, and one extra guard in our canteen. And, uh, it seems very sensible to me as well. There's another freaking riot or something. Oh my god, he just punched the shit out of his toilet! Why are you the worst people? Okay, you know what? I didn't mean that. I didn't... Who are you? Robert Tonks, formerly a well-respected CEO, age 20, seems legit. Bob was caught after holding a man hostage for insisting they had an appointment with him when they didn't. He claims that removing several of the victim's appendages were simply part of customer service. Look, you're, you're out of your mind. Stop punching the toilet. But you are a person. We share genes and a common ancestry if you go back far enough. I have compassion for you. Make it easy for me to have faith in the human race right now, okay? Please, I demand your respect and attention. You know what? I just realized I'm stupid. We can totally build more cells up here. We might not want to in case we end up buying this land, though. You know, this this is more easily expandable if we leave a little bit of tolerance up at the top for more hallways. Um, okay, so we will now install, like, a large jail door here. And, and maybe here as well. I recognize that this will be somewhat inefficient, but at the same time, it will give us another outlet into our yard and also another inlet into the prison from the yard. Um, and we should probably just have a guard, if we go to deployment, uh, that'll be like, right here. Well, we'll wait till the door's open. We'll wait till the second door gets installed. And then we can have a guard that is basically just like, here. This is your job now. Your job is to man this door. You'll walk back and forth, and you will man the door. Now, I'm assuming prisoners can't escape between the area and the fence. Here, that would be disappointing. I would be unhappy with myself if that ended up coming to fruition, but uh, that's okay. We've just let in a bunch of new prisoners. We now have $15,000. Let's go to none. And our prisoner capacity is already at uh, 150 now. And we're, gonna, we're not taking it up too much. It's going to be like 156 or something like that. But I'm pretty impressed with how much we've grown our prison over the course of this episode. Which I think is fair, to be honest with you, to be impressed with that. Uh, we'll do that. What have I done? We need the upper wall. We also need the lower wall. I've, I've mucked it up somewhere. I've cost myself a cell. But you know what? That's okay. We can, we can always... Whenever you uh, mess up like that, you can always just do this. And then, uh, you know, throw a toilet in here. Usually you're going to need a solitary area at some point. So, uh, it never hurts, I guess, to have a little bit more uh, solitary confinement. I mean, it hurts the prisoner. That's kind of the point, I guess. But uh, we're making nine grand a day now. I'm excited about that. Additionally, I'm excited by the fact that we have some money in the bank. I'm not too excited about a lot of things, like the fact that we're way away from completing our grant. We have a riot every single day. Where did this one take place? 
Looks like it took place in the yard. Okay, so now we got a de deployment. We got no guards in the yard, unless we have an armed or a, we have a regular patrol. Okay, well, obviously, now that our yard is much bigger, we need to have maybe like a second armed guard. Can't really afford one. Um, we can hire two regular guards. Oh, we got a, another Polaroid as well. Oh my god. Little scary. Oh, another riot somewhere. Another death. Okay, where did this one take place? Oh, where are you, where are you taking me? In, in the near the shop? Oh, this is, this is pandemonium. The man who was killed didn't even have any... He wasn't a snitch or anything. What is wrong with you people? It was all going according to plan. I mean, you know, I can't be too mad. We're still making uh, Jim Cramer style mad money. I'm just saying, I'm a little surprised at the, at, you know what, at the indignity of the whole situation. The fact that you are, you're costing me my faith in humanity here. You know what, that means it's time for a freaking shakedown as far as I'm concerned. We're gonna, we're probably not gonna be able to search 700 places before this ends, but I'm assuming that, it, you know, now's the time to make some more prisoners compliant, because it's getting a little ridiculous. Their needs are, like, exclusively taken care of except for exercise. And some of them are a little hungry. You know, life goes on, man. You can't just fucking murder somebody because you're a little hungry. I've been hungry enough to want to murder somebody, but it doesn't, it doesn't make it okay. It's not right. Oh, there's another riot. Oh, this is freak free fire. Authorize your armed guards to use lethal force. We're almost we're almost there. Our I thought our freaking janitor got almost killed there. Did you actually You took it out on the gardener. Oh, I'd be exhausted too, but the gardener did nothing wrong. Oh, this is this is pandemonium. Pandemo, pandemonium. Oh, oh, oh. Well, we've got to probably wrap this episode up. I'm very happy with our expansion and our income. I'm not so happy with the crime wave that uh, appears to have beset the prison. A lot of people in this prison wearing red shirts now. You know, red shirt doesn't just mean they're destined for death on Star Trek. It also means. Uh, that they they came in probably as a normal minimum or uh, medium security prisoner, and all of a sudden now they're a they're a maximum security prisoner. What are we finding a lot of? I don't I don't really care about the booze that much. Ideally, I'd like to weed it out, but we we can't do anything about that. Dog leash. You stole a freaking dog leash. A lot of cell phones. If that handles your family needs, again, there are worse pieces of contraband. Um. The scissors bother me a little bit. The knives bother me. <sighs> well, you try. Oh my god, don't I try. We discovered a tunnel in our shakedown. Why do you hate? Why do you why do you hate? That's all I have to ask. I think we're going to end this episode here. I'm just going to wait till this tunnel gets filled because uh, I might not remember by the time we actually get uh, to our next episode. So let's just have our workmen come up there, fill in that tunnel as soon as possible. You guys are fucked, just so you know. You're going in solitary for a long time, James Hale and An Jong Ho. It's cash, $9.96. This guy has $40 in cash. He's like the richest person in this prison, and he's going to throw it all away for a chance to escape. You can't even buy a 3DS game with that dog. You're better off in here where the economy is a little bit deflated, and you can be a king amongst paupers. But anyway, who will be it for me to talk some sense into these people as the all-seeing eye in the sky? For now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on Northern Lion Plays Prison Architect.